Hello and welcome to our candle store. Is there anything I can help you find today? Okay, so you're looking for some new scents? Perfect. Well, we have a variety of different scents and styles to suit everybody's preference in the store. So if you'd like, I could pick out some candles based on your preferences. Okay, sure. So, do you have any scent profiles in particular that you like? Okay. Mm -hmm. And are these candles for you? Or are they a gift? Okay. So, are you looking for single wick, triple wick, wood wick, a combination of single wick and wood wick? Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Based on your preferences, I would have a look at this one. This one is pink, cherry, and vanilla. This is a single wick. And this one is decorated with a soft pastel pink. And it has beautiful flowers. Touches of light and dark pink on the flowers on the front. This one has a metal lid, and this one is going to smell like sweet, juicy cherries on a fluffy pink cloud of vanilla cream topped with sliced almonds. So, we do offer candle burnings here. If you'd like to sample the candle, not only with the lid, but also as the candle burns. Would you like me to do that? Okay, no problem. So, the top notes of this one are cherry raspberry, and apricot. The mid-notes are cherry blossom, pistachio, and milk cord. And the base notes are vanilla, almond granola accord, and musk. So this one has a lot of lovely scent profiles to it. So now let's smell it from the lid. We encourage our customers to smell the candle from the lid instead of the jar directly, as this is going to give a more accurate representation of the scents inside. So I'll let you smell this one. This one has a beautiful cozy scent to it. It has delicate wafts of almond, cherry, and cotton. This is sweet, almost dessert-like, but fresh. It reminds me of fresh linens with a hint of cherry and floral. Floral is beautiful as a combination with linen scents, so I think that this pairs really, really well. What do you think of this one? It's nice, isn't it? You can really tell all of the scents that are combined into this one. The only thing I would say is that normally Musk is a very strong scent, and 
in this, it is almost unnoticeable. This carries and combines together the combination of cherry and apricot and cherry blossom together absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to burn this one now for a few moments just to give you an impression of the carry that the scent has. The carry of a candle can vary depending on the type of candle, the wax, the quality, as well as the company that makes it. smell this one now and it's carry so this one burns really nicely and gently as a decoration piece the glass tumblers never go wrong but the subtle gentle pink used for this candle can make it feature really nicely in any room of your home, depending upon how those rooms are decorated. But I think that this would be really nice in the bedroom or in the bathroom. So I'll let you smell this one now. I'll just grab the lid. So it has a slight tang to it ever so slightly tart and I think that comes from a little bit of the raspberry and the apricot it's not sour it's just enough to give it a nice extra layer I think that this is one of those home scents this is a scent that you could use all year round to complement your home this is beautifully layered, with only ever so slight sweet and dessert-like notes. The vanilla in this one is not buttery or creamy or warm. It's more of a calming scent that pairs with the rest of the scents in this one. If you like cherries and almonds, and with only a subtle floral, then you'll really like this one. I happen to not be the biggest fan of floral scents. Not because I dislike floral scents in general, but I find that a lot of candles push floral too much, and the scent is too strong. But this could not be more of a beautifully harmonized scent. So I think I really like this one. This is especially nice for the beginning of spring. And I think this is really nice both for the morning, afternoon, and evening. Because it's cozy and it's comforting. It just feels nice and fresh. I feel like you could really relax with this one. So what do you think? You like this? Perfect. I'm going to blow this one out now. We'll go have a look at another candle. Okay. Forgive the smoke. Okay. Now, I have a trilogy sent for you. This is our Woodwick candle. And what a trilogy scent means is that it uses three different candle scents and combines them into these beautiful gradient colors throughout this candle. So this one starts as a soft gray at the top, 
little bit more of a traditional silver in the middle. And at the bottom we have a really dark grey, almost black. And so this one combines a blend of soy and paraffin wax. This jar is a little bit more angular and it's wider as it proceeds down to the bottom. So this fuses fireside, redwood and sandalwood clove. For the fireside layer, you're going to smell bergamot, amber, exotic woods and musk. For the redwood layer, you're going to smell rich redwood, creamy sandalwood and soft amber. And for the sandalwood clove section, you're going to smell sandalwood balanced with notes of sweet, clove, spice. So this one is going to be really nice and comforting, but strong, I imagine. So I invite you to smell this one now. So this one has a wooden top to it. And this, as I mentioned, is our wood wick candle. When you burn it, it will crackle. And I'll just show you the inside, how it has that little cross. And when you light that, it will crackle. So as this is a scent that changes layer by layer, it's difficult to get an accurate impression of the candle because it does transition. But this one smells fresh and fiery. So we have some really strong woodsy clove musk scents. But this one is a little bit more on the fresher side. This feels like if you were to burn a nice cozy crackling fire in the morning. And our stronger, richer scents, I think you would use more for the evening. Because this uses really nice, simple colours, you could feature this in pretty much any room of your home. But I love the invigorating freshness that this scent carries. With all those notes of sandalwood and redwood, you would expect it to be really strong. But I think thanks to the bergamot, and the clove. This just makes it a little bit more gentle. You get this really nice combination of woodsy notes and freshness. And bergamot and amber really help to make candles smell fresh. So I'm going to light this one now. And you can listen to the crackling. It's a little loud, but when you place it to the side in one of your rooms, it makes for some wonderful background noise. It really helps you to calm down. These can be a little trickier to burn of the wick. Swap that away. There we go. So, because this is a crackling candle, this is going to feel really relaxing to listen to. So you'll have the smell of the true wood burning, and then that will be balanced and paired with the sandalwood and the clove, the bergamot and the amber. And I think that makes for a really nice immersive scent experience. Because this is a fresh woodsy scent, you could burn this all year long. 
we certainly have some stronger scented contenders for autumn and winter but if you're missing those woodsy scents and want a little bit of freshness then I would say that this is perfect for spring and summer. I'll let you just listen to this for a moment, see if you like the sound. Yes, it's not too loud. Definitely when you put it in the background, it can be really relaxing to listen to. Really nice, isn't it? Just a really nice fresh take on those woodsy notes that are classically used in really strong smelling candles. So I find that more people would probably be open to smelling and enjoying this one for that reason. I wouldn't say that this is inherently full of feminine or masculine scents. I think this is just really nice and neutral. general crowd pleaser. You can actually see the flickers, if you watch closely, fly up from the wood. Do you like this one? Perfect. So I'll put this one out now. We can have a look at another one. Okay. The really fantastic part of the woodwork candles is that they have a really fast fragrance. They don't take too long to carry the scent throughout the room. They have an excellent throw. So what did you think overall of the sound and the smell of that one? Perfect. Yeah, it's really lovely. So let's see. Back onto woodwicks. We have Coastal Sunset. This is another woodwick, but this is our small candle. So this one is a little bit more of a brighter pink than the pink cherry and vanilla. So this is going to make you get the impression of sun-kissed blossoms, fresh coconut, and salty ocean air. The top notes for this one uses sheer coconut, apple, citrus, lemon, and mandarin. The mid notes are sugared berries, jasmine, rose, lily, heliotrope, and vanilla orchid. And the base notes are cedarwood, tonka, vanilla sugar, and musk. So there's a lot going on with this candle. Now this one uses vanilla in that lovely, warm, traditional, creamy way. So I'll let you smell the lid for this one. Mm-hmm. So this one is reminiscent of spring and summer. It's nice and fresh and creamy. And it does fuse the sugary notes of the berries really strong throughout. There's not a particularly large amount of lemon that I can smell, but I think the musk in this one is what makes it smell more creamy. This certainly has a nice, both refreshing and comforting scent to it. But given the scent profile of this one, I'd say that this one is best for well, spring, summer, perhaps autumn, if you don't tend to like clove and pumpkin and apples and whatnot. But this does have the freshness of just being on a beach and just feeling nice and relaxed as you're there. And I really think this helps just bring your mind to that feeling of being on a beach. 
This one you need to take a good waft of the candle and let to really pack in all of the layers of this one because if you don't, I think you're just going to pick up on sweetness and vanilla warmth and a little bit of creaminess. So this one I think is best lit to really tell its scent profile story. So I'm going to light this one now. And you can let me know what you think of this one. Again, because this is a woodwick, this has a fast throw fragrance to it. Mm -hmm. This is the reason we offer candle burnings in our store, just to allow our customers to really get a true idea of what the candle is going to smell like in your home. you just smell this one now from afar. This burns really nicely. This is pink, so this might not be perfect for every room in the home. But I think because of the softness of the pink, it could blend in with most themes of rooms and whatnot. But I think that colour is really, really nice to help evoke that feeling of being on a beach. So this one, I would say, doesn't have distinguishable notes of coconut. It just tends to focus a little bit more on those sugared berry and vanilla and musk notes. And because there are so many different fruits and flowers combined into this candle, I think they combined pair those major notes of vanilla and berry together and calm them down. And I think as this is lit and burns, Progressively, you will smell more of those notes a little bit more precisely. But overall, this reminds me of our Summer Scoop candle, if you're familiar with that one. This is a little bit more of a calmer version of that one. Essences of ice cream, sugariness and whatnot definitely more delicate, more crowd-pleasing. Not sickly, but not too sweet. Just a nice combination of warmth and berries. What do you think of this one? You like it? Perfect. I am picking up now, as the candle burns, a lot more of that floralness, which I think is fantastic because I think that helps distinguish itself even further away from Summer Scoop, but it's in the same general scent profile. There is a beautiful freshness to this one, especially as I move the candle around, but it's still, it's constantly followed with those sugared berry no, so if you happen to like sweetness and sugariness, then you might like this one. Can I take this one? Fantastic. Okay. A lot of our candles recently tell more of a story and have more of a feeling to them than necessarily just being a specific scent. They really do evoke comforting and calming feelings. So let's see what we have next to show you. What about this one? The burn off of that candle was really, really nice, really comforting. A nice classic home scent. So back to single wicks, I have this one for you. 
and this is Bayside Cedar. So the color of this one is a very deep blue, and it is decorated with tree branches and budding leaves coming off of them. So for Bayside Cedar, this helps to tell the story of walking along a forest path right after the rain with refreshing notes of grapefruit, mandarin blossoms, and warm amber filling the air. If you happen to like that scent, then this might evoke a similar feeling. But let's smell this one and see. The top notes of this one are bergamot, green pear, and grapefruit. The mid notes are mandarin blossom and water lily. And the base notes are amber, cedarwood, and musk. I'll let you smell this one now. Let me know what you think. It's really nice, isn't it? So this one is much more of a musky scent, but it has a beautiful combination of freshness with it. So I'd say that this is a neutral or masculine scent. And it just has those fantastic cedarwood and musk notes. Even though they're the base, they are carried all the way throughout from beginning to end. But the beginning of this one is really nice because it begins with that green pear and grapefruit which keeps it lovely and fresh. And to get more of that neutral scent, that's where the water lily scent comes in. The scent is really nicely muddled. It begins sweet and fruity slightly, but then so quickly moves into that traditional musky, woodsy scent. It's really, really nice. And again, this one is designed more to evoke a lovely feeling of comfort and relaxation. If you happen to enjoy the smell of the rain, it doesn't quite smell like that, no, but it does smell just like freshness in general with the floral notes and the woodsy notes. And I think when you pair those together, you do get a little bit of the smell of after when it rains. I don't think it precisely has that, but it has the general feel of it. So I'll burn this one. We'll see what you think of this one. As this burns. Let me get rid of that for you. There we go. I'll let you smell this one as it throws the scent around. smell this lid again. It's a really interesting one. I think this is the type of scent where everybody's going to get a different feeling from it. But overall, this just smells like a really nice fresh cologne. Definitely fresh cologne. It's, it's musky, but it's slightly warm. And it has such fantastic takes on freshness with the bergamot, green pear, and grapefruit. When you smell a candle that fuses bergamot and musk or bergamot and vanilla, you're going to get a really interesting story from it, even if it's just those two scent profiles, because it's perfectly fresh and comforting all at the same time. So, you want to keep your wick trimmed before every burn. Just 
is to ensure that it burns evenly and safely. You of course want to keep an eye on your candle as it burns, but this one just has an absolute beautiful scent to it. So fresh, so calming and musky, perfectly balanced. The colour of this one allows it to be burned in any room of the house, but I would say that this is definitely more of a rainy day, morning, afternoon scent. Just because it is perky and fresh at the beginning of smelling it. And I find that fresh scents um, tend to be a little better in the morning. For your season, I would suggest, honestly, any part of the year, probably spring the most, just when you're really going to see that weather in particular. Yeah, I would definitely put this as more of a spring summer scent. Maybe autumn morning. As I mentioned, you do experience that weather in some countries in spring, but I also think that you also experience that weather in autumn time. So that might be nice with that. This again is really nice for those who just don't like those strong autumnal scents and might prefer something a little bit fresher. You're going to get that comforting mask that you would enjoy in the autumn time, but it is mostly surrounded with that lovely freshness. Again, this is more of a home scent. This doesn't have a specific scent to it, so it's not you know, dessert-like, or super sweet, or whatnot. So I think this would be really, really nice for any style of home. And because of the colour, pretty much any room in the house. This decoration on the front, though, might pair it a little bit more. Maybe for the kitchen, but you could always just turn it around, and then you can put it anywhere. It's up to you. I actually think that the front sticker, if I'm correct, peels off from this, so I think they made that so that you could place it comfortably in whatever room that you want. However, if you do take this off, you may forget what scent it is, which is one of the downsides. But there are options, but this is lovely and fresh, and has the most beautiful musk to it. I know I keep saying it, but it is just such a lovely smell. This is another one of those scents that you might feel would take you to the beach, or take you to the forest. It takes you to a nice nature surrounding. So I'll put this one out. There we go. So what do you think of this one? Fantastic. Yes, I love this one. Okay, would you like to keep looking? Perfect, no problem. Okay. Let's see, what do we have? I think, I think I'll show you this one. So this one is Tangerine Vanilla. This is another one of my favourites. Colour profile wise, it's a little similar to the Pink Cherry Vanilla. It's the soft tone of its colour, this being very soft pink. And this is a soft salmon orange. So, for Tangerine Vanilla, this has a beautiful soft orange to it, and is decorated with peeled tangerines, vanilla, and little decorations on the front surrounding it. So, the top notes for this one is Sparkly Tangerine and Mandarin Bellini. The mid notes are Orchard Nectarine and Rose, and the base notes are Creamy Vanilla and Sugar. So very fruity, a little bit floral, and a little sweet. Smell this one. Really fresh, really fruity. This is a fruity take on 
a fresh linen experience. Whereas the pink cherry and vanilla was a little bit more of a sugary linen scent. So I'll let you smell this one now. Can you let me know what you think of this one? Yes, so the notes on this one are a little bit more accurate and easy to identify. This one does smell very much like um, vanilla, sugar, and mandarin, and tangerine. It has a beautiful freshness and fruitiness to it. And even though it has those, it is actually fused together beautifully with the rose scent, and I think that really softens it and just adds a little bit of a unique layer to the candle. But it's really nice and fresh. It makes you feel energized and awake. But it's still calm enough, I think, to relax with. This candle, though, is definitely more for those who prefer a fruity scent, in particular citrus, orange, tangerine, mandarins, whatnot. And a little bit of vanilla chucked in. This is a very easy to identify and simple candle, especially if you happen to like the scent profiles. So I'm going to burn this one now. You let me know what you think of this one. Okay. There we go. Wafted it away. Okay. I love the color of this one. This is a nice spring and summer scent and colour. And for that reason, I think that this is pretty much only for that particular times of the year. But this is really nice and fresh. Thankfully, even though this is really fruity, there's a lot of freshness to it, and with a rose and vanilla, it calms it down a little bit. I think that allows it to be able to be burned in more rooms of the home. But this is definitely a morning scent. So it's not an evening scent. Just because of the intensity of how almost juicy and fruity this one smells. There's not, um... There's, there's a feeling of comfort from this one, but it's not... Warm musk. This is just floral um, as the counterpart. So I would say that this one is probably best suited for your living room or your bedroom if you prefer this particular scent. But other than that, I'd probably leave it at those rooms. You can obviously decorate as you please, but you have to really, really like the smell of those fresh citrus fruits um, for this one, just because this one, unlike the rest of the candles, which are a little bit more of a muddle of scents, this one is just very true to being fruity. Fruity and slightly calmed down. So what do you think of this one? You like this? Fantastic. It's a nice specific scent, and I think really encompasses the feeling of summer with those fresh roots. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have? I have another woodwick for you. If you still want to have a look at more candles. Okay, perfect. So I have this one, and this is lavender and cedar. This is our small glass jar again that widens as you go down. So this one is one flat color. This is just a, just a gray color. It's just a plain gray. 
The top notes of this one are leafy green, pink pepper, and lemon rinds. The mid notes are lavender, cypress, sage flower, and fir needle. It's giving a little bit of an impression of having it in the kitchen so far. And the base is patchouli, white amber, and blonde wits. Lots of interesting scents for this one. So let's smell this one. Mm. So, before when I mentioned the Fireside Trilogy candle, I mentioned it was a fresh but calming and woodsy. This one evokes the feeling, again, of woodsiness, but in a little bit more of a botanical way and stronger way. This is certainly more potent than the Trilogy candle. But I feel like it's in the same comforting scent profile. So this one has really strong notes that carry all the way throughout. And the one I would probably catch on to the strongest here would probably be the lavender for sure. But I think the fur needle and the patchouli is pairing with the lavender for this one. So this one is very, very strong. It is combining, I think, a combination of over nine scents together in one candle. So this one has a beautiful fresh carrier from beginning to end, but it has just as strong as a musk going from almost the beginning to the end. So I'm not sure whether this candle would uh, wake you up or calm you down. I guess that just depends on the person. But there's a beautiful freshness and almost a bite to it throughout. And I think for that reason you could use this, certainly for the evening. I think this is definitely more of an evening scent. But more so probably for the winter time. Especially with fur needle scents that's pretty common in winter scents in general. So let's burn this one. What did you think of the candle so far? Mm hmm Let's burn this one. And again, this is a wood wick candle. So this is going to have a fast throw fragrance off the smoke. Part of the experience. Let you smell this one now. And again, I like to burn the candles just so that you get a true and fair smell of them. I'll let you listen to it too. Beautiful. It almost reminds me of a mountainside. You have all that fresh scents throughout it, but you also have all those beautiful plants and botanicals. It almost has a slightly soapy scent to it, just because of the freshness. So what do you think of this one? Nice, isn't it? This is another one that, like tangerine vanilla, where it's for a specific person. You have to like that scent profile in general to enjoy this one. Really glad you like this one. This really feels like a nice countryside but mountainside combination scent. Lots of scents going on with this one, but 
that lavender and fur needle and patchouli really shine throughout. Do you like this one? It's really nice too because as it burns, it takes all of those scents from the lid and calms them down. So I really like this one. Just a really nice, fresh scent. Because this is a little bit more of wanting to be outdoors scent, I would probably place this in maybe the kitchen. I don't particularly think that this is suited for the bedroom or the living room. This doesn't have a home scent to it. This is very strong and specific, just like tangerine vanilla. Very strong, very specific. And so this might be nice for your office, the kitchen. And again, I'm unsure whether this is a scent that calms you down or wakes you up. So maybe for morning or evening, just depending on how you perceive the candle. Perfect. So would you like to have a look at any more candles? One more? No problem. Okay, so we'll look at this one. We have another trilogy. This has the most beautiful gradient to it, and this is called Calming Retreat. This uses three different scent, scents of candles throughout it. There's lavender spa, sea salt and cotton, and white tea and jasmine. And this has the most beautiful gradient from this beautiful um, truer blue to a little bit more of a sky blue down to white. It's really, really lovely. And these colors really do represent what the candle is trying to go for, and that's to create a nice, calming experience. Color-wise, I would say that this would be really, really nice for the bathroom. But let's have a look at the actual scent. So this one has a, almost a spicy pepperiness to it. It has a similar-ish style to the lavender and cedar. But it just has a little bit more of a pepperiness to it. I'll let you smell this one. So in the lavender spa section, it's blended lavender and eucalyptus essential oil. For the sea salt and cotton section, it is a light woodsy scent, salty ocean breeze, and soft cotton. And in the white tea and jasmine section, it's pure white tea and hints of jasmine, red cedar, and rose. So I'm not sure where I'm getting that bitiness or pepperiness from. But this one just feels really a combination of fresh, but quite rich all at the same time. This definitely, from smelling it, is a bathroom scent. 100% this is a bathroom scent. I don't think this makes sense in any other room of the house, given it almost has bathroom freshness as opposed to linen freshness. That's how I perceive it at least. But what do you think? Mm -hmm. This is certainly an awakening and invigorating scent. I would say that this is a morning scent for the bathroom. Probably um, spring or summer. But I think given that this is a nice classic bathroom scent, you could burn this all year round in the bathroom, but again, probably more so in the morning. Really lovely and fresh. It almost reminds me of um, shaving foam. It's that really nice fresh scent of shaving foam. 
Maybe that's why it's tying me to the bathroom. That's what it smells like to me, it's just fresh shaving foam. So I'll burn this one now, see what you think. It's good though that you can tie it directly to the bathroom because I feel like that's what it's intending to do with it being called Calming Retreat and using Lavender Spa. It does draw you to the bathroom. One now. That last one. Okay, let's let this one burn. Watch that again slightly. There we go. So I'll let you smell this one now as it burns. Really, really nice. Super, super fresh in its own way. Um, again, a little bit more shaving foam-like as opposed to um, floral or cotton. And I would say that the notes I could best pick up on in this is definitely the lavender, and that's probably why I think it smells similar to the lavender and cedar candle. It's because of that lavender. Let me go back and smell that one. Yeah, so it feels like the lavender and cedar one is a little bit more richer in its lavender scent and this lavender is a little bit more fresh and I think it's because it's carried by so many gentle fresh scents that are used to calm down the lavender. Cotton, ocean breeze, eucalyptus, white tea, jasmine. There's almost a subtlety of the tea and the jasmine throughout in the most beautiful way. But this one's really, really, really nice. To make a little bit more, again, of an experience scent rather than a specific scent. And again, the throw of this one is really, really nice and effortless. You don't have to wait long for it to throw the scent. So you can burn the woodwick candles for three to four hours per use. And we suggest that you trim the wick an eighth of an inch before each use. did you think of that candle? You'll be taking that too? Perfect. I'm seeing that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. So will you be taking all seven of your choices today? Perfect. And would you like to have a look at any other items around our store? No? Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get you fresh versions of each of these candles and I'll bring them up to the front and you can pay whenever you're ready, okay? Okay. Well, thank you so much for visiting us at our candle store and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Goodbye.